Ow. <laughs> Let's point and laugh at some free stuff. Honestly, this thing's not in the worst shape. I think it's pretty salvageable. So what it looks like is bulb wise, dial lights out, this lights out, and half of our meters out, which is no biggie. It's easy enough to order. But hey, there we go. Fired right up. Seems to be happy. All right, thanks, Pioneer. Moving on. <laughs> Whoa. Can you say Kabuki? Well, what we got here is not focusing. What we got here is some Coral BX1500 six-way seven speakers. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, <laughs> how could I not take these home with me? Ooh, the cigarette ash means it's preserved for freshness. Yeah, these things are restorable. Look at that. The termites only got them a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so I've actually never looked at this this close before. Jesus Christ. So we got, look, why don't we go speaker by speaker here, see what we're dealing with. We got a 15 inch woofer crossed over at 20 hertz to 800 hertz. Wow. Look at that baby, wide open to catch all the cigarette ash. What happened here, little guy? Ooh. Well, that's made of like tin or something. Well, that's unfortunate. Good thing it's purely cosmetic. Let's move on. We got a six and a half inch low, mi low middler, whatever the fuck that means. 800 to five kilohertz. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> Whoa, base reflex hole. We got a five inch middler, whatever the hell that still means. 1K to seven kilohertz. <laughs> wow, I'm sure these are totally on their own crossover network and not just the same thing. Horn high middler, here we go. That's the, quite a word they like using a lot. This baby's 2k to 10k hertz wow is it metal Ooh, it's actually a metal horn so okay three and a half inch tweeter 5k to 10 kilohertz wow i love it and then down here i don't even know if these are hooked up but these are two super tweeters 7k to 25k this is the kind of thing i did when i was a kid it's like i really want to see the speakers now and you rip these things off i'm sure they just unscrewed pretty easy but no, I gotta get in there, I gotta rip them right. So I mean, as you just saw, these cabinets are done. Oh wow, look at this baby. We got some pretty standard tried and true crossover stuff back here. We got high range, mid range controls. You got your speaker terminals and then quarter inch, apparently. Wow, how much you wanna bet that's true? I totally believe that. It also, for some reason, can be triamped, which I don't know why you'd ever wanna triamp a set of speakers like this, but whatever. Wow, look at them go. Oh, whoa. So luckily enough for us, the previous owner actually pulled the back off of this one for some reason, so we get to look inside. Wow, this is upside down. Yeah, <laughs> whoa. I mean, honestly, these drivers don't look the worst. This horn intrigues me. It's a kabuki speaker. It's not gonna be the most beautiful thing you've ever heard, but it'll be fun to hear him at some point, right? Uh-oh, somebody fell off, naughty. There's the crossover network, whatever is going on here. Like I said, I guarantee you most of these speakers just go to a three-way crossover, and then from there, they're supposedly split up. Yeah, you can switch them to run on their own. Like I said, these cabinets are done. They're waterlogged, they're termite logged. They're extra delicious. So I think I can save these front bezels, clean them up, pull all the drivers out, make everything smell good, and go from there. But, well there's a quick and dirty overview of these things. Um, I will definitely, once things get a little less chaotic in my garage, we'll test them out, you know, we'll plug them into something, not you, and then we'll probably gut them on video, pull all the drivers out, clean everything really good, and keep these bezels and drivers and put them all in a box somewhere nice. Crossover suit, we need those. All right, well first things first, I think we ought to try to reattach this guy, just so we can see if everything works at the very least. Hey, it's pretty good. Oh. There we go. Does it work? Yeah. Is it ideal? Ye sure. All right, I currently have this adorable little realistic amplifier hooked up just to see if we get any sound out of anything on this thing. And then from there we can move on and figure out what the hell to do with these. <laughs> Anyways, this thing has selector switches that let you select if you want a tri-amp or just run everything through one amp on this. I'm gonna flip two of them off and we're just gonna go through the ranges just to see what happens. Okay, um, nope, oh, that was a noise. Ooh. Something in the cone in there. That's what that buzzing is. What if I can't pick that out real quick? What the hell is that? Oh. 
Well, this at some point had a little screen over that, but that has since fallen off. Maybe it won't buzz anymore though. Ooh. That sounds like a blown up woofer. Good sound. That's a good start. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the mid-range, I guess. <laughs> Already had a good start going on here. Nothing. I'll tell you what, let's just run the whole thing. Maybe this is not working the way I think it's gonna work. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sounding speaker. All right, um, <laughs> well, so far so good, right? I guess we plug in the other one. <laughs> hmm, these are looking more and more like something I'm about to gut and rebuild as an entirely new speaker with new woofers. <laughs> okay, so that last one was the one that had the back taken off of it. So let's try this guy. This is the one that was not molested. Ooh, that's a good sound. That one went pop. Ooh. Some rattling in that one too. Huh. Okay, well there's that. Let's try the mid-range. Still nothing. I bet you the capacitors on this thing are just dunzo. This one's making noise. This one too. It sounds like the tweeter. Well, my guess is if the woofer's the only one making noise, we got some just totally shot crossovers. Well, I don't really want to rebuild those yet anyways, because these cabinets are just thrashed, you know? Um, it sounds like the woofers are totally blown. So I'll tell you what, why don't we pull these things apart and we'll go through and test each driver individually. Anyways, let's dig in. The fun part's gonna be getting all these little teeny, tiny nuts. <laughs> I'm real familiar with teeny tiny nuts. Kind of reminds me of me. Hey! <laughs> Give that back! Stop it! I'm gonna ditch old floppy here. Kind of reminds me of me. Wow, a screwdriver. Kind of reminds me of someone I know. Alright, I got lazy. Alright, let's take a peek. Mmm. Do these come apart at all or are they just soldered? to their doom. They're just soldered to their doom. I guess we're marking and desoldering some drivers. Let's get this bigger mid-range out now. Okay, come here. Hello. Mmm, dusty. Alright, let me desolder this and we'll take a closer look. Yeah, there you go. Just a six and a half inch mid-range. Nothing to see there. It's kind of cool to have though. Next. Alright, well the tweeter tried to make a daring escape, so there it is. Gonna desolder it and move on to this horn. Okay, let's check out the horny horn. <laughs> Ooh, it is a metal horn. That's awesome. Yeah, baby. Look at that thing. Yeah. Well, cool. Another one for the pile. All right, the woofer should be free. There's one more. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the woofer should be free. Ooh, that's got some weight to it. Hopefully it's not totally dead. There it is. Look at him. Well, let's desolder it. We'll play with it later. Jeez, that's a heavy ass woofer. Okay, let's check out one of these little super tweeters real quick like. Look at him. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me get this all taken apart. Let me get the other one taken apart and we'll play with the drivers. Yeah, baby, she did get water in her. Purely for scientific purposes, let's take this off just to see what it looks like. Wow, this is a piece of metal though, that's actually really nice. From the corpses of the old speaker boxes, new tables, wow. Anyways, we got a thousand hertz tone playing. We're gonna see if these speakers work. Here we go, wow. I guess first up we'll try these tweeters out just cause they're here already. Cool, this one might be dead. Huh, that's a bummer. Well, this tweeter don't work none. We might have a bunch of dead drivers on our hands. I guess we find out the fun way. All right, how about these mid-ranges, I guess. I don't know what else to say besides, let's give them a whirl. That one's good. That one's good. Well, that's a good sign. All right, let's try out these bigger mid-ranges. That one's cool. 
That one's cool. All right, well, the two big mid ranges work. How about the horny horns? Yep. Hell yeah. Thank God, these are the ones that were most important to me getting these. <laughs> All right. A pile of super tweeters. Let's turn this down a little bit, just in case. Yeah, that one works. I hear it crackling. Yep. 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 Oh, man. So what's up with this tweeter? Oh, that's not it. That's a good one. What's up with, <laughs> what's up with this tweeter? Mind you, I found this one already broken off when I pulled the cabinet apart, so... Who knows what happened there? Dead tweeter, dead tweeter, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, cry? Yeah, nada on that one. Bummer. All right, well, I guess we test the woofers again. This song has bass in it, and it's also mine, so I won't get a copyright. Oh, <laughs> the cone, what's happening here is the cone and the voice coil are entirely separated in there because it's all ripped. <laughs> Look right in this area. Now, do you see anything wrong with this picture? What's happened here is this woofer is literally, yeah, I can take it and lift the whole entire cone off. Huh, well, that, Answers a question of why this is so bad sounding. That's a big ass voice coil. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> ah, oh no! <laughs> Poor little guy. Well, those are totally smoked. Not much you can do there. <laughs> if I were a betting man, I'm gonna tell you right now the other one is gonna be the same story. Oh, actually, this one is attached. Yeah, that one didn't get ripped apart. What's going on here? Now, right, let's try this guy out. Yeah, this one works. Huh. <laughs> I made this shitty bass test in 2009. I was like 12. Something's wrong with this one, too. I can hear it. That ain't supposed to sound like that. <laughs> All right, little amp, you can go to bed now. We're down a tweeter and two woofers, unfortunately, but you know what? I can still totally make something with all that shit. I'm just gonna try to reflow the shit out of that. Why not? <laughs> yeah, look at that glob. That one's going. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is gonna be a naughty little friend here if I were to be a betting man. Yep, unfortunately this guy don't want to speak. It speaked his last speaker. S spoke so out of all that, we got two working horns, two working five inch mid ranges, two working six and a half inch mid ranges. Granted, this one's a little damaged, but that's just a dust cap. That's easy. And four super tweeters. Now if I really wanted to be kooky and crazy, whoa, I could build a box with these horns and probably like a 12 or 15 inch driver if I want to make something simple. I could build something a little more involved, like say we run the horn, two super tweeters, a mid-range, and then another woofer. I could go full kabuki and run all of this with some 15 inch woofers again and just let her ride, use these as the tweeters. There's all sorts of combos here and maybe someday down the line we'll make it. But for now, these are gonna get boxed up, put away, and probably forgotten about, unless somebody has an idea for a funny project. <laughs> Anyways, these boxes are gonna be a table for the rest of my Mustang build, and then they're gonna get smashed up and junked. And with the sound of those police sirens coming to take me away for speaker abuse, thanks for watching. Tune in next time when I do something. I don't know what it is because I still don't really have any videos planned. All right, better get the handcuffs on.